Ellen, it is a very volatile situation out here. A curfew may have been put in place at 8 p.m. tonight, but the crowd has only gotten bigger since then. You can see right now the crowd is continuing to run back. We've been seeing this happen for the past hour to hour and a half. Chopper 7 HD is also over the scene. I can give you kind of a better perspective of the size of the crowd gathered in this Civic Center Park in the center of town just outside the courthouse. Protesters have been occupying this park out in front of the courthouse for hours now. This began began earlier this evening. It was peaceful, and then after the 8 o'clock curfew, things escalated drastically. There have been fireworks, flashbangs, rubber bullets fired by police, as well as tear gas. You can see that one of those dump trucks that was lit on fire last night has now been reignited and burning for at least a half hour. All of this as a result of a shooting at the hands of Kenosha police last night. Tempers only flared off the heat of the day. Personal insults and full water bottles flew from the crowd into a fortified line of Kenosha police guarded by riot gear. Under emergency orders, Wisconsin's National Guard rolled into Kenosha and issued just one warning. You need to disperse. Gas will be deployed if you do not disperse. The agitated crowd wasn't so easily shaken. This is night two of fallout from yet another police shooting. Sunday evening, Kenosha police say they were called for a domestic fight. Witnesses say Jacob Blake was trying to break up the fight when Kenosha police pulled up. If you were there, he wasn't doing nothing violent. He was trying to break up the fight. He does the same job the police does. He protect people from being hurt. Yesterday's incident was captured on cell phone video, and we want to warn our viewers, it is graphic. In the video, you see two police officers with guns drawn following the 29-year-old as he approached a gray SUV. As Blake opened the door, multiple shots rang out. We frozen the video there. It's too graphic to watch what this man says he witnessed. I'm just witnessing it and recording it. I was so angry. And me personally, it, I couldn't really even sleep because it was just so traumatic. Sat seven times in his back while his children were sitting in the damn car. These officers is hitting him like, shoot me. My kids is in the car. We're just shooting them with the kids in the back screaming. Overnight fires and looting gave way to marching. Black lives matter. By day, protesters filled the streets of Kenosha, now lined by boarded up businesses in the name of Jacob Blake. And as you can see, those protests have since gone from peaceful again to violent and raucous. Both sides seem to be agitating and responding to one another. Police are fully dressed in riot gear, though we can't see from where we are at this perspective. Guarding the courthouse and protesters continue to occupy this center square. And although they periodically run back and retreat whenever police seem to either fire tear gas or bullets, they often then run right back in and start refilling that, that center square. So it does not appear as though this situation is going to die down anytime soon. And we should also point out the police union representing the Kenosha Police Department asks that people keep an open mind. They say the video that is circulating does not represent the intricacies of what happened in that situation. They say they assure people they are conducting a full independent investigation. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.